Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video brought to you by Rib. Today we're back in some Armour 3, something that's been very overdue and it's been asked a lot of times. However, I was just sidetracked from Armour 3. I go through phases, I'm back now into Armour 3. So this is going to be the setup, how to set up the latest 5.5 .5 Altis Life framework. So, we're on the VPS server. There's, there's going to be quite a few things you need. I'll try and link them all down below. I'll try and go through slowly and as thorough as I can. So first things first, you need to download a program called XAMP, which will look like this. As well as XAMP, you're going to need to download Heidi, which looks like this. So download both these programs. They're both free. I'll link them both down in the description and install them. First, we'll do XAMP. Once it's installed, open up the control panel, it'll look like this. And on the left of these three services, the Apache, MySQL, and FileZilla, because you're probably going to use it at some point anyway, double click these squares, which will install these services. So this MySQL is what obviously we use for our database, and that will send communication to our Heidi. So the default port for MySQL is 3306. You can change this if you must in the config my any. So just find 3306 and change it to whatever you want to use. But you should have three green ticks and they should be running. You can stop them, but they should just be, once you've started them, once they started like this, just leave it. You can forget about that, so minimize that. Okay, over to Heidi. Heidi is what we use, which will have all your database information, all your tables, all your columns, etc. So it doesn't matter what your session name you call it, but what is important is this user. Mine's called root, and I don't have a password. And the port is 3306. So let's open that up, and it'll look like this. But we'll come back to this, guys, and I'll, keep, I'll delete this so we can start a fresh review. But before we do any of that, we actually need to set up an Armour 3 server with the server files, uh, just like on your client PC in the C drive. So let's create a new folder. And it doesn't have to be in your C drive, this is just where I put mine. And let's call this new Altis. And inside here, we need a program called Steam CMD, which I will link below. But for now, I'm going to pinch it out with my other, one of my other server directories. And let's go to new Altis and let's paste it in here. And when you open it, you'll download all these files here. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to go login, space, your Steam name, space, your Steam password. So it's login, space, your Steam name, space, your Steam password. Obviously, I'll log in mine, then I'll skip ahead because um, I don't want to show you my password. We've logged in, guys. I just had to do a quick Steam guard uh, to verify it was me. We need to add this code, which is app underscore update space 233780 space validate. Okay, this will install all your ARM3 directory onto your location. Just like when you're installing it on your own PC, this is installing the files we need on the server. So I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, that's the actual Armour 3 server files all set up and downloaded. So for now, if we go to Steam Apps, common Armour 3 server, as you can see, we have a load of files here. Right, what we need to do now, let me just get this fresh. We need to go and get the actual framework. So let's start everything fresh. And we go to altislife.rpg.com. If we scroll down a bit, we go to Altis Life Framework. Releases. Let's go to framework and let's download this. Download. Okay. So here's the Armour 3 server directory that we've just installed in the new Altis folder in C drive. And this is the download of the framework. Let's extract it here. Let's go inside. Okay, this is the mission file, but it doesn't have actually have the mission.sqm in it. So what we need to do is go to SQM folder, rename mission altis, just to mission.sqm. Delete that. Okay, copy this, go back out and pull it in here. Paste. Go back. So we can put this folder straight into MP missions and all your filters, etc. Uh, I won't go through Battle Eye at the minute. We'll just do the install. Battle Eye, etc. Just be something for you. Uh, I'm not too sure if I want the headless client stuff. Let me just put that there. Life server, we're going to need to create a new folder. 
called at life underscore server and inside that a new folder add-ons called add-ons okay so if we go back and if we get the live server I just put it there live server put into the add-ons and you do need to pack this into a PBO so you do need PBO manager same again I'll link it down below so that's like so and we can move this across into our armor 3 server directory and um, these YMLs down here I presume we need I'm not too sure but I presume we need them I'm brand new with this framework I just know how to set it up at the minute so they're in um, this SQL we will need for the database the SQM we've already got some documentation we don't need filters for your battle eye uh, we, we could just put them in they just go in there do they be filters or have I got a V photo folder? Let's have a look. I think they probably just go straight into your battle light. Right, now let's go and get the EXDB3. So let's go EXDB. Let's go and download this. This is for the database communicating. Let's download this. Back to the downloads. Okay, extract here. Okay, these TBB mallocs are for your memory, for the yeah, for all the cache for the memory. Um, and all we need is this at exdb3. Move that across. Okay, so if we go into act dxdb3 and exdb3 config.ini, if we go to edit, and before we do that, we'll go back to Heidi. So I haven't showed you what to do in Heidi. So let's open up your Heidi now, guys, from from the beginning. Um, and like I said, you've created a session now. It doesn't matter what session name you call it, but your user, mine's root, um, mine's root and no password, and the port 3306, go to open. What we need to do now, guys, is go to file, run, and we're going to run that SQL file, which, where did I leave mine? I think I put it in the directory. So new altis, steam apps, common, on with three out is life open so if I refresh this you'll see we now have all the entries for our out is life database okay that's that set up back to the exdb config.ini right click edit so we need to change some stuff here so the username was root there's no password database is called out is life and we need to change this bit here to out its life. Okay, let's save this. Come out of here. What, another little tip, guys. These DLLs, they sometimes can be blocked. So go to properties and unblock them. Properties, unblock. Okay, properties, unblock. Okay, and I'll do the same with the TBB Malux. Properties on block. Properties on block. Now to run our server, we use a program called Tadst, or you can use a bat file, uh, but Tadst, the version I have, seems to always work, so we'll use that. And I can link it down below, but for now we're going to pinch it from another mission file. On the three server, Tadst, where are you? Copy. Let's paste that in here. Okay, xdb3 sorted, live server is pbo'd and sorted, mp mission is sorted. We should be good to launch, let's have a go. Touched, run, let's just go rib so say. Test, and we can pick the exe in a sec. Rules, persistent battlefield so the server doesn't turn off when you, the last person comes off. Missions exdb3 and live server selected in mods so let's launch that up let's select our armor3.xa armor3server.xa okay launch let's open up armor3 on the client pc armor3 and hopefully we should be cooking on gas guys One error we might have is spyglass. 
if that's the case we'll just get rid of spyglass as far as I'm aware it's no good anyway nobody uses it there's no point to it so we'll, we'll remove it well let's go and give it a try first details monitor okay come on load splash screen loading screen intro screen why not take them off come on come on come on We saw it. Okay, multiplayer server browser. There's our server ripso say test. Let's go on this. Okay. Let's check out what the server's saying. Reading the mission. When it says mission read, it'll tell us if it's connected to the database, which it should have. XDB3 loaded, so it's looking good. One thing to show you as well, guys, in your actual database. Go open. Let's get rid of this. Um, if you go to your users, obviously my users root local host make sure they have got all global privileges okay that's just one thing let's get rid of that get rid of that and we're looking so far so good are we going to get a spyglass error i think we will it's often the case so this is how to set up altis life within five minutes continue Spyglass sees you. Of course it does. You detected of cheating and reported. Oh, nice. All right, so let's go and disable Spyglass quickly. It won't take long. Um, Epic Missions, Altis Life. Go to. Which one did I want to go? Config Master. Config Master. I'm not sure if this is the case of just turning the whole fat spyglass off or we have to actually remove it. We'll soon see. Let's place false on there. Let's reboot the server. We could be cooking on gas. Okay, nearly good to go. Have to have it in Windows Windows script mode because uh, I'm always clicking off the screen. Right, are we ready to join? Yes. Rib so so test. Has Spyglass been deactivated and disabled? We shall soon find out. Reading a mission, mission red. Time to join. This is easier to join to set up than the 3.1.4.8. Very quick install of this new framework. If I'm being quiet, guys, it is uh, half past two in the morning, so I apologize for trying to get some videos out before I go on holiday. Continue. Oh, sorted. That was how you disable spyglass. So it looks like, guys, we're all on. All done. Set up. Ready to rock and roll. Just load everything in. Yeah. Well, I hope that helped, guys. Pretty pretty uh, easy when you know how. Uh, we've done it in less than five minutes, pretty much. So I hope it helps. Like and subscribe. Like I say, it was a bit overdue. I've had a, a lot of questions, and armor is a bit, bit more dead these days than it used to be I know but something always draws me back so expect more videos of development and probably mission files 
I'll see you all again, guys. Peace out, amigos. Dead up.